the steps in thyroid hormone production is the uptake of iodine into the cell. And we can use this to help us measure thyroid activity through the use of radio-labeled iodine. Radio-labeled iodine is also taken up into the cell and made into thyroid hormone, and we can measure thyroid activity using this using different imaging techniques. The way this is done is the patient's given an oral dose of radio-labeled iodine, and then 4 to 24 hours later, we take a scan of their thyroid. And this shows the areas that have taken up the iodine and helps us to measure both thyroid function and thyroid structure. The normal thyroid takes up about 15 to 25 percent of a radio-labeled iodine dose. If the thyroid is overactive and is making a lot of thyroid hormone, it's going to take up more of that iodine so that it can make more thyroid hormone, and it's going to show an uptake pattern with high uptake, more than 25 percent of the radio-labeled iodine. Conversely, if the thyroid's damaged or suppressed for other reasons, it's not making very much thyroid hormone, so it doesn't need very much iodine and the uptake will actually be quite low. In addition to how much thyroid hormone the thyroid is making, the radio-labeled iodine scan can also give us information about which parts of the thyroid are hyperfunctioning. Sometimes it's the entire thyroid, and all parts of the thyroid are making extra thyroid hormone, and the uptake will be diffuse. Sometimes, however, it's only one small part of the thyroid that is hyperactive, and this will show as a focal uptake on the uptake and scan.